So, George Kitch has asked, what colour is a red fire truck? Uh, Hi guys, how's it going? In today's video we're going to be doing a Q&A and an unboxing video. We're going to be unboxing a package that I've received from Revive Skateboards. This is my first official sponsor package from those guys. Can't wait to get into it and see what they sent me. I'm really, really excited to get into it and I'm excited to answer your guys' questions as well. So without further ado, let's get into this unboxing and then I'll answer your guys' questions. I'll do them both at the same time. I haven't decided yet. Oh God, this thing is heavy. Like, really heavy. And we've got the traditional, the good old Stanley blade. Shouldn't be trusted with one of these because I'm irresponsible. But let's, let's do this. Oh damn. We have some stuff. Oh yeah, there's obviously gonna be stuff in here. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking awesome. But before I show you guys what I've got, I'm just gonna go ahead and answer a question real quick. So, George Kitch has asked, what color is a red fire truck? Uh Okay, so Squashua has asked, if you could set up a Christmas complete right now, what would you throw on it? Well, obviously a revived skateboard, some Spitfire Formula 4 wheels, 4D grip tape, independent trucks, and Red's bearings. That is my go-to setup anyway. If I were to set everything up, I'd set everything, what I have right now, up again twice, so it's nice and fresh. But I don't know, when it comes to skateboards, I prefer broken into new stuff anyway, so... That's just me. Hopefully there's a lot of people who are like that as well. Um, but yeah, first question done. Um, well, second question done. The red fire truck one, I didn't have an answer for it. So right, what have we got then? Let's have a look. So boom, we got obviously some stickers right here. Gotta love some stickers. So we have four sheets of Jessup's grip tape. So I'm going to assume that there are four boards in here. That's sick. So we got four sheets of Jessup's and we got a t-shirt. A nice tie-dye shirt summer tie-dye from their summer collection they've just launched recently. Question time, let's answer another one. Ivergon Ghost has sent two. Uh, can you skate in flip-flops? No, but you can. And how old are your chickens? Uh, I have pet chickens. Uh, they're probably like a year and a half, two years old, something like that. I don't know off the top of my head. That's how old I think they are. So yeah, we're gonna go a year, a year and three quarters. That's what we'll do. All right, next thing in the box, we've got, oh, sick. We've got one of the old school classic lifelines in gold in an eight, because that's the size that escape. These ones are actually like the first revived decks, I believe as well, and they've just brought these back. You can go and get yourself one. They are limited stock, and I didn't think they'd send me one of these, but yep, yeah, they sent me one. This is like a proper blast from the past, a bit of nostalgia for me, because when I first started watching like the revived dudes, um, they were bringing these boards out at the time, when yeah, when revive was kicking off, which is awesome. So I've got my hands on one of those. Next question. Uh, Matthew Lepke has asked, what's the hardest trick you've ever done? Oh my god, it just depends where I'm at. I'm sorry, I don't know if it's a bit too dark. Uh, honestly, probably a Wally late backside big spin. I'll put the clip up now so you can see what it looks like. That trick took me about six hours. It took a long time. Probably one of the hardest things I've done. And then there's just other tricks like Merlin twists I really struggle with. They're really hard. And uh, dolphin flips took a long time to learn. Nolly late flips as well. They took a long time to learn. But I'd think out of all the tricks that I've done, the hardest one is probably a Wally late backside big spin and please don't rain. Let's throw in another question. What's the trick clip you're most proud of from George Smithson? Again, probably that Wally Late. Big Spin, there's a bunch of stuff. I've, I've been filming a lot of skateboarding for a lot of years. There's too many to choose from, but the Wally Late Big Spin, that one, like, stands out the most, for me anyway. Right, next board. Sick, we have a John Hill Pro Board. Awesome. Sick, that is epic. JP Kuvert did these, the designs. I think these are like the Dungeons & Dragons series. Advanced Revive, they look sick. So happy with them, the second edition, they look awesome. Should we get another deck out or should we answer a question? We'll get another deck out while we're at it. Boom, favorite skater in the world, Jason Park. Again, the owl bear one. I've already had this board before and now I've got another one. I'm super happy with it. I love the graphic, I love Jason Park, he's such a dude. And yeah, everything about that board is just awesome. I'll probably skate this one first. This is the first one I'm gonna skate, I think. Next question, the randomness guide, one, two, three. If you could turn pro for any company, what would it be? Well, the company I'm unboxing products from right now. If I could be pro, I would be pro for them. That would be amazing, but pff, that is, yeah. I am nowhere near good enough to be a professional skateboarder. But thank you for considering and asking that question anyway. But yeah, I would love to be pro for Revive, but I'm completely, 100% super, super stoked on just being flowed on the UK team. The only guy, I'm on my own. No, but no, I'm really grateful for being part of the family. It's amazing. It's a great opportunity. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, everyone at the Shred Quarters for giving me an opportunity like this. And yeah, I'll just keep repping and doing what I'm doing. Uh, we'll answer another question. Callahammer's 95, what's your best memory at Subvert? Subvert's uh, is old local skate shop and indoor skate park, and it closed a couple of years ago. But Alan, every single memory, 
at that skate park is the best memory at that skate park. That place like made me who I am as a person. But I had so many great sessions, met so many great people. And yeah, if, if I could go back and just keep that skate park, I would. Best place in the world. All righty, so we're gonna go back to the unboxing. I've got one deck left in here. So they've sent me four in total, four sheets of grip and a t-shirt, which I'm super stoked on, and some stickers. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my phone's falling. Taco deck in the house. Amazing. I love this deck, because I like tacos. I like Mexican food, it's the best. But yes, taco deck. I said I'd get the Jason Park one first. Ah, uh, so much choice. Probably tacos now. I'm gonna get this big old box out of the way, so I can show you guys that in all its glory. Chiller taco deck, love it. Amazing. So yeah, just a quick recap, we've got taco deck. Jason Park deck, John Hill's Pro Board, and the classic Lifeline. Ooh, I'm dropping them. The classic Lifeline in gold. Buzzing. Absolutely stoked. And obviously, the tie dye t shirt, and grip tape, and stickers. It's a good life. I'm so grateful for all this stuff. It's amazing. I love it. Thank you guys. You're the best. And now I'm going to get back on with the questions. I've got a couple of more to answer, and then we're going to wrap this video up. So just put these down here. All right, so next question, Ellis Frost. What's your favorite dinosaur, then say a Jurassic Park quote? I like Velociraptors, the pack hunters, because of their intelligence and, well, Jurassic Park quote, clever girl. Yeah, that was easy. Uh, the Life of Courts has asked, what made you start a YouTube? I started YouTube just because I like skateboarding, I like cameras, I like creating stuff, and it just gave me an opportunity to do all three together. And I get to travel doing it, I get to have fun, I get to document what me and all my friends are up to as well. It's just, it's a good life. It just appeals to me out of everything that's out there, out of all the social media platforms, YouTube appeals to me the most. So yeah, that is why I do it. And hopefully one day it will take me places. I mean, I, I'm getting bored from doing YouTube and stuff like that, so yeah. I'm gonna keep doing it until I get old and tired, which ain't anytime soon. Winston Graham has asked, are you sponsored mate? Can you tail whip and what are people for? Yes, to all three. Henry Templar, trick you were most excited when you learnt slash landed it. Uh, 360 flips. That was like 10, no, 12 years ago I learnt those and I was like, this is the most advanced thing I can do and I've learnt it really, really quickly. I'm a happy man. And I just remember the day I landed my first one and I was like, this is it, there's no going back now. Tray flips are life, and I still do 360 flips, tray flips, all day, every day, now. All right, next question. This one's on Twitter. This is my friend Joe Townend. Who's the worst behaved on trips and why? Is it me, Charlie, and Will? It, yes, it's all three of you guys. I'm just gonna say that, so there's no beef. It's all three of you, you're terrible. No, I'm just kidding, I love you guys. You guys are the best. You, you guys do your thing, and I'll just sit there and endure it, whatever. All right, so we're on with the YouTube questions now. Alan Manhole has asked, Northern skate parks or Southern skate parks, which are better? Quite frankly, I'd, I'd I don't even know if there's a difference, but if you're from the south and you haven't skated any northern parks, get yourself up to the north, and vice versa, if you're northern, you haven't skated any southern parks, get yourself to the south and have a good time. Callum Lyon has asked, what's your thoughts on the world population growth and being able to maintain sustainable living environment for over the next 50 years? Well, I, I think, yeah, I think on that one. I just think. Bradley133 has asked, can you make more vlogs at Easing World, please? I would love to. That skate park is amazing. It's about an hour away from where I live. Um, I would definitely go back there and make more vlogs because you have asked me to. I might actually go there relatively soon and make another video because that place is fun. If you haven't seen the Easing World vlog, click up there somewhere, up here, and it'll take you to the Easing World vlog. It was a good day. I definitely want to go back there. And the last question from Mark P. Have you ever skated Mount Hawk Skate Park down in Cornwall? It's my local indoor park. No, I haven't. I haven't been to Cornwall in about 15 years. I'm old. Yeah, 15 years was the last time I went to Cornwall. I do need another trip back down there, but from where I live, it's about a six, seven hour drive, which doesn't sound a lot if you're like living in America and like a seven hour drive is like the next town. But in England, there's a lot of places in between there. It probably would be quicker to fly to Cornwall and come skate Mount Hawk. I would love to, um, but it's just not on the cards for me at the minute, but I do need to get back down to Cornwall. I just have like a couple of more trips in the pipeline, but when I do, I'll let you know, and I'll come down to Cornwall and skate Mount Hawk with you. That'd be fun. And I want to go check out Concrete Waves as well. Maybe next summer, who knows what the world holds. But yes, that's all the questions done. We'll just have a quick recap of the package, even though we've already done it. We've got a revived tie-dye t-shirt, gold OG Lifeline deck, John Hill's Pro Board from the Advanced Revive series, two Jason Park's Pro Board from, again, the Advanced Revive Series 2. And my favourite, even though I said the Jason Park one, they're all my favourite boards. Yeah, everything these guys do, I love. And the Taco Deck. 
This one's going on first. I love tacos and I love the taco deck. Super stoked, super grateful. Thank you to everyone at Revive for hooking me up with these boards and everything you've done for me so far. It's amazing. Really, really appreciate it. Couldn't thank you guys enough for giving me such an amazing opportunity. I know I've said that a lot, but it's true. And if you want to get yourself a Revive board and you're living in the UK or the EU, check out the Shredquarters at EU.com or if you go on the Shredquarters, you can click top corner and it'll take you to the EU website. And it's starting to rain, I think. So I'm going to wrap this up real quick. But yes, thank you to all you guys who sent questions as well. It was kind of short notice. I just threw them on Instagram, threw it on Twitter, threw it on YouTube very early this morning. And I was just like, right, when I get home from work, I'm going to do this unboxing. And that's exactly what I've done. Super stoked with this huge package once again. <laughs> huge package. <laughs> but yes, thank you for everyone who submitted questions as well. Thank you to everyone at Revive and thank you all for watching. So I'll see you all in the next one. Be sure to check out the inertiacollective.com if you want to grab yourself some merch, like these hats. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. So in a bit can't cover the lens in a bit.